Cedar Fell is tucked away in the far eastern fells, with the ascent starting from Martindale Church. The route heads south into Howell Grain and past Dale Head to join a path gently rising up the side of Bannerdale. Once at Beda Fell Knob, the path turns northeast and follows the crest of the ridge all the way to the summit of Beda Head. The descent takes you down the north ridge over Halstead Brow and back to Martindale Church. Martindale is a tiny village with only 50 permanent inhabitants and two small churches. This one is referred to as the Old Church and dates to the late 16th century. The view down the full length of the valley from the very beginning only gets better as you progress down the road to Dale Head, a small farm at the very end of Bannerdale. But first you need to head over Christie Bridge and head south along the valley floor. After passing Dale Head, the path splits and begins the ascent up the side of Beda Fell. The path isn't too steep and maintains the same gradient all the way to the top. This path appears to be an ancient track leading across to the chapel in the Hawes and over to Patterdale, linking the two valleys. As you gain more height, the views over to the Nab and into Bannerdale really open up. The dramatic colour changes between the lush green valley floor and the browns of the fellside are in stark contrast with each other. As the route approaches the ridge of Beda Fell, the path skirts around a small ruined building or sheepfold. Although marked on the OS map, no documents exist explaining its history. A turn right joins the ridge path leading you along an undulating route all the way to the summit, with the valleys of Bannerdale to the right and Boredale to the left. The summit is marked by a small cairn on top of a rocky platform. The views extend northeast across Allswater and the Eden Valley all the way to the Pennines. 
the panorama is simply breathtaking. The descent down the fell takes you north past a cairn and down the ridge over Low Brock Crag. This in turn leads down to Halstead Brow, about half a mile further ahead. The path runs over Halstead Brow and to a bench with a superb view over Boardale and to Allswater, nestled below Galbarrow Fell. From here the path turns right and gently descends back down to the road by Christie Bridge at the start of the walk. <laughs> 